Piggy Sue, hello there, good afternoon. Hello Helen, how are you? Good afternoon. I'm not too bad, Piggy Sue. We had some we had some five minutes before we went live. My son found out that the restaurant he's working at is closing, so he's going to lose his job. So yes, a little bit of stress, but there you go. Hello Susan. Hello Hope. Hello Karen. Hello there. Good afternoon. Hello Gayla. Now I'm totally confused. Is it morning for Gayla? Is it good morning for you Gayla? Good afternoon Jane. Good afternoon everybody. Hi Sue. Hello everybody. Yes, it's lo it's much cooler. It's very nice, Kay. I'm enjoying it. <laughs> Lee's just finished a prep work. Yay, Lee! <laughs> yes, it's it's not good news, Gayla. I must admit. So, yes, I don't know what we'll do now, but we'll have to help him out. Hello, Sue. I know, Piggy Sue. I can't believe it. He was just told literally five minutes ago that they're closing the restaurant, so he's lost his job. Good afternoon, Bev. Hello, Lucy, good afternoon there. Good afternoon, Roz. How's the decluttering going, Roz? Have you got lots sorted? Hello, Val. Good afternoon, everybody. Bit cooler today, it's lovely, Liz. Right up my street. <laughs> A bit cooler. It's right up my street. Hello, Margaret. Hello, Deb. How are you? <laughs> I can hear the birds singing in my garden now. Hello, Ali. Good afternoon there. Hello, Margaret. Hi, Karen. Beautiful sample today, Karen. Oh, thank you for sharing, Janet. It really is appreciated. Thank you. I know, Margaret, it's one of them things, isn't it, that we're just going to have to hope that he gets another job, but I'm not holding out much hope when you think about the virus and how everything's going. No, I'm not melting today either, Madeline. Yay. Hi, Cass. Hello, Cass. Hello, Maxine. How are you? Hello, Maxine. My son lost his job too not long after they went into lockdown. It's not good, is it, Carolyn? Because my husband's just moved into his own place that he rents. So this is not a good time. Hello, Chris. It is a different day today, isn't it, Chris? Right up my street for a redhead. Hello, Chris. Oh, Chris and Chris. That's Chris Creswell and Chris Mumford. So, mum and dad to the rescue. Oh, they're, exactly, Liz. They're always our babies. So I'll just have to work twice as hard now, Liz, just for a change. <laughs> Instead of working just 100% of the time, I'll have to work 200% of the time now and work extra hard because I'm now going to have to help my son out. <laughs> I'm hoping so, Hope. I'm hoping so, but it's not looking good because people are not taking on at the moment. Hello, Burnett. Hello there. But hey-ho. Hello, Lynn. Hello there. Good afternoon. I was going to do some cleaning but sat down and watching instead hey that soon put you off the cleaning that did jenny it took us three seconds to put jenny off the cleaning <laughs> it's lovely to have you here karen hello flower hi june how are you how are you still got loads to sort through but i'm getting there oh thank you for sharing ros thank you yeah, at least you're getting there ros Yes, he's lost his job, Chris. We found out five minutes before I went live. His restaurant is closing. They announced it five minutes ago. So he's lost his job. So it's quite stressful at the moment because he's just moved into... Well, he's been in his own place a few months, but they were just getting things together. So, yes, very difficult. It is a bit cooler, isn't it, Jane? Hello, Joe. How are you? So yes, it's a bit cooler, but guess what? I love it cooler. It's good for my hormones. No, I've got the same problem, Carolyn. I don't think he'll be getting a job anytime soon. It's dull here. 
the feeling of dampness in the air. Absolutely perfect for me, Jane. Good afternoon, Pauline. I know, I must admit, Karen, I'm, I'm feeling pretty much the same. So it's a case of mum's going to have to work harder now, I'm afraid. Hello, Lynn. Good afternoon there. Yes, I'm going to use this stencil by the lovely Olga. So we're using this stencil today and we're using this stamp set. The reason I'm using this stamp set is when I design stamps, I like to show that you can use them in lots of ways. Hello, Anne. I was just saying, Anne, my son's lost his job five minutes ago. Hello, Eugenie. Hello there. Hello, Pat. So, yes, yeah, so I like to use stamps in lots of ways. I don't like to just do you a project and then disappear with that stamp. I like to show lots of ideas with that stamp. Good for you, Gayla. Yes, I was going to support the restaurants, but... Oh, he's, he's very gutted, Chris. We all are. We're very gutted. Because it just means mum and dad have to work twice as hard. But we just have to stay positive, don't we? It's, we have to stay positive and we have to keep plodding on. We can't let these things get us down. We have to keep plodding. We have to keep plodding and stay positive. Because the negativity doesn't do us any good, does it? I like it cooler. Not so many magic moments at night. <laughs> Yes, I have to say, Bev, cooler suits me much better. I'm a woman of a certain age. I need it cooler. Hello, Becky. How are you? Hello, Becky. I'm loving cooler too. Me too, Jenny. Do you know, a lovely walk in the cool weather's lovely. Good afternoon, Jennifer, the lady that finds everything. Hello, Nana's Craft House. Hello, Shabneys. Good afternoon, Shabneys. Hello there. I know, Anne. I know. Some, a bit more stress, eh, Anne? It keeps me on my toes. It stops me from getting to about 50 stone because I, I have that much to worry about. It keeps me hyperactive. So I'm going to use this stamp set. I'm going to use the pair and I'm going to use this stencil um, just to show that there's lots of ways you can use it. Sadly, I think the restaurant trade will be the worst hit. I so agree, Jane. I so agree. I agree. So what we're going to do is, as you know, I like to try and mix it up because we're live quite frequently. So we need to mix things up a little bit. So we're going to do one of these Tim Holtz tags that I've gessoed. We're going to create one of these. Now, in case anybody asks the measurements, let's do the measurements and then we can get that out the way. Hi, Sarah John. Hello, Sarah John. I don't, I don't, if I take any more tablets, Gayla, I'll rattle. Hello, Sarah, how are you, Flower? How are you? Let's hope it's a temporary thing, Diane. I really hope so. I hope so, but the problem is the bills still come in, don't they? Whether it's temporary or not, you still have to pay your bills. So this is eight inches in length by... Hello, Jeannie. Eight inches in length by... Four and a half inches in width. Oh, thank you, Sue. Thank you. Look, I remembered to do the measurements. Are you impressed? Are you impressed? I did the measurements before anybody asked. You need to be impressed by that. I did the measurements before anybody asked. I'm quite impressed with myself. So four and a half inches by eight inches. Hey, I'm getting organised. I'm dying for restaurants to open as well, Lucy. I, that used to be my treat was having a, a little meal. Okay, so let's do something positive. Mine talked to me about it as well, but then we talked about the MS and she decided to leave me alone. <laughs> oh, bless Gailey. Yes, exactly, Kay. I have to believe that it's fate, that good things do come out of bad. Exactly, absolutely. It's okay if you work in KFC and McDonald's and they are back open. Maybe I need to ask him to apply there then. Right. Are you impressed? I did the measurements. Nobody needed to ask me, Luke. I was on the ball. Are you very impressed? You see, it's only taken 9,555 lives and I've remembered to do it. <laughs> I'm so... Oh, I'm, what am I like? So I'm using texture paste and we're going to apply some texture paste through the lovely Olga's stencil. This is designed by Olga. 
and she designed some beautiful stencils so I just want to use half of it oh I'm glad you're well as well Lee I finished the menopause five years ago and you still get too hot at night don't tell me that Jenny hello mad redhead hello Karen you're just as mad as I am Karen Karen's the, the mad Scottish lady, Karen is. So, right. Karen's got a group as well. I've forgotten what it's called now. You'll have to put it up, Karen. Because my brain's mush now. My son's just told me that. So my brain isn't working. Hang on a minute. I've got it all over my handle. Let me just get rid of some of the texture paste off my handle. Right. Let's apply this texture paste. So we're going to apply texture paste over the stencil. And as you know, I don't mess with the texture paste too much. I just go over it and then I just add some more texture paste. I don't mess with it too much. So I'm just going to get some more texture paste out my pot because I don't want to mess with it too much, just to give me some depth. I don't want to keep wiping over it. So I just want part of the stencil, just part of the stencil. I think that'll be fine. And look at that, you, do, you don't need to do any messing with it. We just need to wipe the edges. Let me just wipe the edges. Like so. And look at that beautiful detail on that stencil. Absolutely brilliant. I'll just put the excess back. Let me just put the excess back in my pot. What are we saying? I agree. I gave up sugar a year ago. Oh, I didn't, Lucy. I'm useless. Hello, Rizwani. Hello, Flower. I was a redhead when I was little, but as I got older, I started to get dark and now it's changing colour again. Really, Carolyn? Oh, wow, I didn't know that. I didn't know that. So I'm just going to wipe this. Now, you could wipe this onto white card and then you'd get another texture. But I'm just going to... You see, you'd get all that texture on white card. So you need to add that to white card because then you'll get another background. So I'm just going to wipe up and I've got some baby wipes and trust me, they're soaking wet. Me too, finished the menopause at least 10 years ago. Oh, I hope my menopause doesn't go on for that long. Good grief. I need it to last about one month, to be honest. I'm all, you know, I'm already bored of the hot flushes and goodness knows what else you get with it. According to the nurse last year, I'm premenopausal. I haven't even been told I am yet. But I just know that I get very hot at times. So let's just move that stencil out the way and do some drying. Hello, Andrea. Hello there. We haven't done nothing much yet, Andrea. We've just had some textured paste to our uh, MDF tag. If you'd like to share the Facebook Live, that would be much appreciated. But this is the texture that we've got. Look at that beautiful texture from Olga's stencil. My red hair's going white. Oh, I think mine'll go white quicker than normal. I'm gl I'm not so bad. You get beyond it. Oh, I hope so, Hope. But that's just part of the stencil. That's not even all the stencil. Now, this Facebook Live's going to be a little bit longer because, obviously, I'm doing a mixed media piece. So, if you get a bit tired, then don't feel you have to announce you're leaving. You can just leave. And how do you feel for doing that, Lucy? Maxine says for cutting out the sugar. I'm just drying the texture paste. Mine lasted 10 years. What? 10 years? Please don't tell me that. Hello, Isabel. I was hoping for a little bit less. Now, when you're drying texture paste, if you don't want the bubbles, make sure I managed to watch it live today. Yay, Alison. If you don't want to add bubbles to your texture paste, dry it a little bit, let it calm down a bit and dry it again. Hello, Patricia. It doesn't matter that you're late. Thank you for joining me. Thank you for sharing, Jennifer. Thank you. Jennifer's the queen of finding everything. Redheads never really go white. My, my nan went a funny yellow colour. My nan did when she was a redhead. She went a funny yellow colour. So I could go yellow. That'll be interesting for you. Karen, Gartland Karen says, oh, she's replying to Alice and she says hello. Karen, oh, oh Karen, what's your group called? Oh, me, me, me brain's mush. Type it up, Karen. 
So I'm just giving that a... And then what you need to do is just let that settle a bit or else it will start to bubble. I have ladies who have been there 80s just please Bev, I don't want to know that you still have hot flushes in your 80s. I don't even know when the menopause is started, never mind, finished. I'm 66 and still get hot flushes. Oh, please. You're not doing very, you're not, you're not cheering me up now. You're not cheering me up with this, I've had the flushes for 15 years. That's it, the tartan sprinklers. Thank you, Wendy. So, you're not cheering me up with the, with these hot flushes things. You're not cheering me up at all. I don't need to be needing, knowing that hot flushes last 15 years. 15 years for hot flushes. Are you trying to finish me off? Kim went through the menopause when she was 38. Hi, Tracy. I made it, but my laptop's playing up. Oh, don't you just love laptops? So if you don't want bubbles in your texture paste, you dry it, let it rest and dry it a bit more. Just until you've got some firmness to it. If you don't want it to bubble, let it rest. Let it rest a few moments. So I'm just... Oh, we've got 138 people. Thank you for joining me. Not fun. I started at 41. Will you stop it, folks? Cheer me up. I don't want to know that I'm going to have hot flushes until I'm 80. Please don't tell me that. I don't want to have hot flushes until I'm 80 years old. That's just so depressing. I've been on it for over... Jane? Jane's been on it for over 20 years. No. So I'm just letting that rest a little bit. I didn't really have any hot flushes. You see, that's what I like to hear, Sarah. Sarah didn't have any hot flushes. There you go. There are some normal people. Oh, hello, Dot. Hello, Dot. Dot's managed to comment. Yay. Hello, Dot. Welcome, Dot. I don't, I don't get hot flushes. I just feel hot. Mine was only about three or four years. You see, that's much better, Chris. That sounds normal. Three or four years, you know, hot flushes when you're 80 does not sound normal. We wouldn't lie to you. Of course you would. Just to make me just, you know, I'm not looking forward to that at all. So we're just letting this texture paste to cool down a little bit. On the positive, the central eating bill goes down. <laughs> Trust me, Sue. I'd rather pay more for the central eating than the hot flushies. Yay, Dot's managed to comment. Dot's managed to comment. That's brilliant. So I'm just letting that cool down. When I got to a certain age, I got another dog. Mine was the many paws. <laughs> I, that's it, then I'll just get another dog. Oh, now Carol's got no sound. Oh dear, whoops. I never had a hot flush. Oh, Sue, that's right. That's what I like to hear. Right, we've now got texture paste that is nice and dry for us to pounce, to pounce, to pounce, to paint. And June didn't have many, you see. So we've got a lovely texture paste now that's ready to paint. Can you see the depth on that? Beautiful depth on the texture paste. And it really stands proud because I didn't mess with it too much. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to use two colours. You could set a clock by me, 10 past the hour and 22. <laughs> so I'm using spring and waterfall. Spring and waterfall. So these are the colours I'm going to use. Just reaching for my brush. Just reaching for my brush. I was thinking hot flushes but said that it was a novelty for me to be hot and not cold for once. <laughs> I don't like the novelty of being hot. Being too hot, I don't like. So what I'm going to do is add a couple of blobs of this colour, just randomly over my, um, what's this called, tag, over my tag. So I'm just going to add this randomly over my tag. And then there's a little bit of, my brush is a little bit wet because the fresco paints dry quite quickly. So I'm using a wet paintbrush just to blend. And I'm also using a wet paintbrush because it blends the colours nicely. 
And if your texture paste isn't completely solid, it means that it won't mush it. It won't mush the texture paste, paste completely. So I'm just adding, let's add a bit more green. I love, I love getting the depth from the texture paste. But I'm just trying to keep you ladies and gentlemen interested in the lives so that you don't get bored with the same thing all the time. So I'm just trying to show you that stamps are very versatile, very easy to use and I find them really fun to use but that's me personally, I love stamps, I love stamps. I'm just going round the edges. Now I want a little bit more blue. 16 years ago, wow Karen. So I'm just going to add a little bit more blue so you can keep adding colour but because my paintbrush is a bit wet it's beautiful it blends beautifully because my paintbrush is a bit wet so let's just move this out the way and let's give this a dry are you waiting for your De La Rowney texture paste Gina you will not be disappointed you will not be disappointed oh thank you Leslie this Facebook live is going to be a little bit longer so I do apologize it's just impossible to do some projects quickly some projects you can't rush so I'm just drying this and these colors are lovely don't know how you think Liz honestly my poor little pea brain honestly my little pea brain it's just I have to rack it my brain I have to think so much just to think of something a bit different so I'm just giving this a good dry and what I like about these colours is they're quite vintage, they're quite vintage. I like the colour mix Anne, it's a lovely vintage colour mix. I'm just wiping up my background so I'm just lifting this up while I just wipe my background. I'm behaving myself and trying to be clean and tidy. Don't get used to it too much but I'm trying to be clean and tidy. So that gives us a nice little mix of colour. So if I bring this down so you can see the texture on there. So you can see the texture. Have you just woken up Andrea? It's not good when you've had a bad night's sleep is it? I hope you don't. I do. I lose sleep hope. <laughs> but that's because I've only got a little brain hope. <laughs> don't worry I'm not going out. I'm just staying in today. <laughs> Oh, and Lynn's even prepared tea. Lynn, that is super organised that you've prepared tea. How organised are you? Oh, thank you, Patricia. Thank you. So I'm just going to add a little bit of white. It doesn't matter. Let's get rid of some of this. Let's get rid of some of this blue and green off my paintbrush because I'm using the same, the same paintbrush. It would be ideal to use another paintbrush. Let me see if I've got another one that's better we've got another paintbrush so I'm just going to use the white just use the white obviously I won't take too long with this I'm resting my shoulder in between oh yes Carolyn how is your shoulder I remember when I had a frozen shoulder gosh that was painful so I'm just going to add some white bits some white highlights to my texture just add some white highlights and when you're doing this at home you just take a bit of time to add those white highlights but I love doing this it's nice and relaxing size doesn't matter <laughs> so I do love just adding some of the little white white areas back in just to highlight it a little bit more so I'm just highlight that and I always find this quite relaxing just remember to take off the excess paint just so that you don't get too much paint on your texture paste and I only want it light I don't want too much white paint I'm just lightly adding dry brushing to the area I don't want to add too much I don't want to go too over the top and if you add too much, you can easily wipe it away. You can smell bread here. Oh, the, the bread machine will be... That is so organised, Liz, doing bread. How creative are you? You can do crafts and you can bake bread. As you well know, I don't do cook. You all know that my husband does all the cooking. 
as you well know, I'm the world's worst. So I don't do cooking. If it was left to me, we'd starve if it was left to me. So luckily we don't. The smell of homemade bread, I know it's lovely, isn't it? It is, it's lovely. So I'm just adding some highlights of white over the texture. That, you get the idea, so let me just put that in water. Let me just put them in water, just so that I don't get any rotten brushes, because normally I let them dry solid, because I'm good like that. I leave my brushes to dry solid, and then I have to use them in artwork, because I don't clean them. That's why I can't buy expensive brushes. I'm okay, Tom, how are you? Oh, and Tom's at work. Do you deliver, Karen says. Oh, that's true, Chris. Yes, I could maybe pay my son to cook. <laughs> that's not a bad idea, Chris. <laughs> my sister is the bread maker, Gayla says. Oh, well, I have to rely on the men in my family. But there you go. It just adds a lovely texture to your design. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to add some stamping. I'm going to use this stamp in the background. I'm just going to use this stamp in the background on the tag. I've got so many things everywhere, it's just a mess. It's just a mess. So what I'm going to do now is add some of this stamping in the background and I'm using Forget Me Not Archival Ink. Forget Me Not. And the reason I'm using Forget Me Not, let's be honest, is because it was out ready for my workshop. So that's why I'm using Forget Me Not because I've got it out and I may as well use what I've got out. So I'm just using what I've got out. So I'm just adding some stamping to the background. Where are the numbers? Yay, Hope. I, I'm trying to keep you on your toes, Hope. No numbers. You see, you thought I was going to use numbers and I didn't use numbers, you see. I love this. I'm, I'm glad Chris likes this. I love it when Chris likes it. So I'm just adding this to the background. Just to give me some background elements. And this is going to be a longer Facebook Live. It's going to take a little bit longer. Just because I want to take my time. So I'm just going to add... Like so. And you can add light areas, dark areas background stamping it doesn't all have to be perfect it's just your background stamping it's just your background stamping so let's just add this is just your background and we're going to place something over the fo over the foreground anyway now 184 eh? 18 what what are all their numbers oh sorry <laughs> Oh, that really confused me. I looked up and there was all these numbers and I'm thinking, what's 169? Oh, yay! <laughs> I totally forgot. I was, in me, I was in me zone then. I was in me zone. Now, don't take the mickey. I was in me zone. So let's just move this out the way for a minute. And let's just get some cardstock. Let's get some cardstock. I was in the zone then. I was thinking, eh? Hey, where are all the numbers coming from? So, you see, you all had me guessing then. So I'm just going to use the same colour paints to bray onto a piece of card. So we're just going to bray it. Did you miss the beginning? Don't worry, you can catch that and catch up. Oh, thank you, Deborah. So we're just adding these two colours together. And then I'm going to bray them on my card just so that I can stamp my pair and I'm just brayering it over the card just to give me a background for my pair there's a nice bit of texture on there as well from the fresco paints I, I was I was in the me zone I was I was totally in the zone then and when I looked up and there was all those numbers I thought hey I don't understand what 169 is and <laughs> So all we did, Anne, is we added texture paste through Olga's stencil and we've added some stamping to the background. 
that's all we've done so far wonky pair absolutely oh crikey eight days to process your order oh well you can use a different color jennifer this this can be your template for your workshop and then you can experiment with more colors after your workshop i always class the workshop as a template it's the wonky pair because I like to prove that I like to prove that stamp sets aren't one hit wonders. I like to prove that stamp sets can be used in many different ways. And if you if you can't if I personally can't do lots of samples, then I can't expect you to do lots of samples. So I like to make sure that I give lots of ideas for certain stamp sets and then move on to a new one when I've given plenty of ideas. I like to give lots of ideas if you're spending your hard-earned cash on a stamp set. So we're now going to add this pair. My wonky... I, I'm sorry, but I love wonky pairs. I like wonky anything, really, to be honest. Let's just be honest. It is good to cut and emboss, isn't it, Gina? It is. So I'm just adding the layer of ink allowing that to sit because we've used a stamped background or one trick ponies exactly we don't want one trick ponies Isabel we want something that's versatile that can be used in lots of different ways but not only that something that you enjoy using as well something that you actually enjoy using and I love using it so I like that so there's our pair that's perfect well not our pair the pair Mine came this morning. Yay, sorry. That's a result. Let me just... Now, you need to make sure that you blot that ink. You need to make sure that you blot it. Because, obviously, you're going to smudge it. Because look how much ink. Because you're onto a painted surface. You can rely on me, Karen. <laughs> because you're stamping onto a painted surface, you need to make sure that you blot before you cut out. So I've done no prep. That's why this workshop's going to be a little bit longer because it's more detailed and no prep's been done. So we just look so look how much ink you get off there. That's me, Karen. But look how much ink you get off there. So we're just going to give that a dry. If I wasn't hot before, I am now, especially with the heat tool. Are you having to work, Ian? Ian's just come into the office. So I'm just giving this a dry just to make sure before I cut it out that it's nice and dry I've had an email saying that they are on the way yay <laughs> are you now looking to pounce on the posty Carolyn no let, let's do less of the pouncing with your bad shoulder I don't think that'll go down too well if you do too much pouncing especially on the postman it might be a postwoman you never know who's going to turn up so I'm just cutting out the pear, which you can't see because I keep pulling it towards me because I'm good like that. When I cut out, I pull the project towards me and I forget that somebody's watching. So you can't see what I'm doing. So I'm just cutting out the pear. What are we saying? Hello, Ian. They're all saying, Ian, say hello. Hello. You have to say it a bit louder so they can hear you. Hello, everybody. <laughs> doing some voiceovers at the weekend i'm going to get ian at the weekend doing his zippy impersonation at the weekend so you can have that to look forward to at the weekend i'm going to put him on the spot we'll get him doing a few impersonations just for a laugh because i like doing silly things like that and i like to get my husband involved just so that he can look Pair out. See, they're all saying hello now, Ian. Right. So we've now got the pair. So what we're thinking is, this is going to go here, but we've not finished yet because that fades into the background. So we don't want it like that. So everybody said hello to Ian now. So we don't want to fade it into the background. Zippy the pit and Zippy the pinhead. No Zippy off rainbow. He's going to do Zippy's voice off Rainbow. So what we do is we're going to lift that a little bit. Let's get my craft sheet. 
let's get my craft sheet I need to be careful how I say that and I'm now going to use my Versamark ink pad you see they're all looking forward to it now Ian so get your zippy thingy ready for the weekend we've got them all excited for that Ian Are you listening <laughs> We want Zippy and Frank Spencer. <laughs> I have no posts since the 21st of May. Oh no, Linda, why have you not had any posts since then? <laughs> now they say they can't wait for the weekend workshop and Ian, of course. <laughs> so I'm just inking this up, my non-stick craft sheet, and I'm going to add my vintage beeswax or you can use clear clear embossing powder I'm using my vintage beeswax but you can use clear embossing powder if you want or maybe use some of them embossing powders that you're not happy with that have not seen the light of day maybe use some of them <laughs> everybody's looking forward to the workshop now <laughs> your zippy thingy sounds so wrong <laughs> Listen, our workshops are never normal anyway. Come on. <laughs> Everybody's looking forward to the workshop now. <laughs> I like putting my husband on the spot. They're just not bringing it, Lindy. Oh. They're not bringing it. I know when my postman came on Monday, he said, I'll see you Thursday. So I presume they're not delivering every day. What is Rainbow? Can somebody get a link for Hope? of what the programme Rainbow is, so she knows for the weekend. Can anybody get a link of Rainbow, the programme that we used to watch with Zippy? And what was the bear called, Ian? Uh, now we can't remember. Bear. Eh? Zippy, George and Bungle. Zippy, George and Bungle. So we're going to do our impressions at the week. I'm not, Ian is. Ian's going to do his impressions. <laughs> Ian's going to do his impressions. <laughs> it's nice to put my husband... It was a children's programme. I know. Poor Ian, Anne. I know. Anne says, poor Ian. He's used to me, Anne. He knows what an absolute nutcase I am. He knows what I'm like. He knows I put him on the spot sometimes. So we're just adding another layer. Just adding another layer. Need to get my pear stamp. Just so that it's ready. Just bring this in. Bungle, yep. Yeah. Zippy Bungle and what are you? George. Zippy Bungle and George. Sounds too comp. No hope. It was just a little children's program. It was a little children's program. So I'm just now hitting, hitting it up in layers. Exactly. Bungle, Zippy, and I've forgotten the other one. George. See, I keep forgetting. Up above the streets and houses, rainbow climbing high. You see, June knows it. June knows the programme. <laughs> so we need to get Hope um, a little link to rainbow. You need the banana clip from rainbow. <laughs> there you go. Gina's got a link for you, Hope. Have a look at Gina's link and then you will understand. Yeah, the Tim Holtz glazes would work for this as well. I've got a couple of Tim Holtz glazes, but I needed this, I wanted this colour for this project. So I'm just going to melt this, just so that I've got some of it melted. <laughs> Everybody's got links now. <laughs> Jennifer's got the rainbow song in her head. I think it's hilarious. I like to send the, the followers so they're slightly loopy. You see, by the time lockdown's finished, everybody will be as bad as me. So we're just adding layers. Does he have the costume? No, he's got no costumes, Jane. That would be really frightening. <laughs> what was the... You see, Ian wanted to know that as well, Alison. What was the name of the presenter, Ian? Can you remember? Oh, we, yeah. couldn't, we couldn't remember the name of the presenter. Somebody's saying Jeffrey. That's it, Jeffrey. Jeffrey, yes. The presenter was Jeffrey. Ian said yes. Jeffrey. You see, you can tell what the week the weekend workshop's just going to be like. It's just going to be as per normal. 
So I'm just melting this. I want to add several layers. I'm not rushing the process. I'm not rushing it. Jeffrey Hayes. Wendy even knows the surname. Wendy even knows the surname. We couldn't even remember the first name initially. So I'm just adding this. I think this will be the last layer now. Let me just put the lid on this. Put my lid on my thing and then I can hit it. Zippy George Bungle and Jeffrey. He's a good sport. <laughs> what was that? Do you remember the craze a few years ago? Filming your friends having... Oh yes, I had that, Lucy. I had a bucket of water chucked over me as well. Hello, Gabby. Greetings from Germany. Is it Guten Abend? Guten Abend. I try to make out I know what I'm talking about. It's getting really hot in this craft room. We've got that. I've got quite a few bodies in the craft room now. My daughter's just looked in. My husband's on the computer. It's getting a bit claustrophobic in here. So we're just adding these layers. Just and this is the last layer that I'm adding. So just adding these layers. Just melting, just to make sure it's fluid. You can watch them later. There you go. Karen can speak German. I escaped the ice bucket challenge. I didn't escape the ice bucket challenge. <laughs> I tried this with the real beeswax. What a mistake to make. Thought I'd... Oh, no, you didn't jiggy your stamp, did you? Did it not come out when you inked it? It should come out if you ink it. So I'm just going to add a little bit of ink to my stamp and just keep that... I haven't got enough room on my place. Just keep that heated. I'm just going to add a bit of ink to my stamp just to make sure that it releases okay. I don't need to add much ink, but I just need to add some ink so that it releases from the molten powder. So just make sure that's nice and hot, like so. I told you this one was going to be a bit longer than the other one. So I'm now going to stamp this into that molten skin hopefully you can still see that brian can't i think good evening yes good evening gabby who was the play oh yeah play away who was the play away presenter oh i can't remember that there was wasn't there several play away presenters i thought george was a hippo was george a hippo uh, yeah. yes he was he was a hippo so I'm just peeling my stamp away and I don't think that was hot, I think I let that, let me see if it'll still peel away. I need to now find somewhere where I can peel away my skin. There we go. I thought I wasn't going to be able to peel it away then because I was too busy talking and not peeling away my skin. And you want it to be slightly torn. You don't want straight edges because straight edges are no good. So there we go. You can you can while it's molten, while it's still warm, you can cut bits as well and break bits. So let me just lift this up and chuck this out the way. So now we've got this skin, the wonky donkey <laughs> play school. Brian, oh, Brian Khan did play away. There you go. Love Rod, Jane and Freddy from Rainbow. You see, I don't know all these. Who's was Frod, Red, Jane and Freddy? I don't remember them. I remember some of the characters, don't remember all. So I'm just ripping while I can my skin because... What I'm going to do is I'm going to add my pair and then I'm going to add the skin over the top like so. So my skin will go over the top and it lines up perfectly with the pair. So it lines up quite nicely with the pair. And Flo Oh, Floella Benjamin. I remember Floella. I remember Floella Benjamin. 
She was so lively, wasn't she? Oh, yes, of course, Anne. But I remember Floella Benjamin because she was always so lively and, and happy. So I remember Floella very well. I remember Floella. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to add some of this calico just to lift the background a little bit. Just to lift the background. Singing kettle when mine was w were we. Singing, ke <laughs> singing kettle. Dame Floella now. Oh, I didn't know she was a dame. But she was always so sort of happy. And I mean, that's what you need for a children's programme anyway. But she was always so happy. It was, it was, it was lovely. So I want my pair here. So I'm just going to add some calico like so. I, I, I had tears reading the wonky donkey to grandchildren. Oh, that wonky donkey. Wonky donkey. I was at uni when Play Away was on. Oh, now I feel really old. Yes, I don't know how old I was when Play Away was on. But it was. It was good. So I'm now going to add some cotton fibres behind. I've got glue on my hand. So I'm going to add some cotton behind. The idea of the calico is just to make it so that it lifts the pear from the background. We don't want the pear just to sink into the background. So I'm just adding a little bit of cotton. So just let me adhere some of this cotton. Just make sure it's stuck. And what I'm going to do now is add my pear here, like so. So we're now going to add the pear. And we've got some lovely texture going on in the background. Some lovely texture in the background. So just add the pair. Just make sure that's sitting first. Fabric, calico, yes, like a cotton fabric. And when you tear it, it frays. So it just lifts it from the background. Raw cotton. It just lifts it from the background. So just allow that to sit. And then what I'm going to do is place my skin over the top. So I'll just adhere it where some of the black is. So I'm just going to adhere my skin, not my own skin, obviously I'm not going to adhere my own skin, I'm adhering the skin from the pear. So I'm adhering the skin from the pear and I will hold this up so you can see. Just pressing that down so it sticks down and that'll give me an added texture. Oh yes, I'm liking that, liking that. And then what I've got, I should have some embellishments here. I now want to add one of these little clips to my pair. Come on, Tracy. I need that bit broken off so I can attach it to my pair. Break that off and then add my little clip. Come on, open up. That's it. Add my little clip to my pair there. There we go. If you play away late, play away was later than Plus School. It was, wasn't it, Anne? Play away was later. It was later. So what I'm going to do now is take a piece of my calico, take a piece of my calico and I'm going to stamp the word pear on the calico. Stamp the word pear onto the calico. So just ink that little bit of a word up. What are we saying? Round, run around with might read. <gasps> might read. Oh, I, I'm, this is making me feel so old. So I'm just adding pear text to the calico so as you can see I've got pear stamped on the calico I've got that many bits now of embossing all over the place let's just clear up a little bit there we go just so it's a bit tidier let's bring this in because we're not finished yet yippee I've got those clips yay yes but I do like to make sure that you use your products that you absolutely get them out and you use them so they're not just lying there so we've got pair so I'm going to attach this here like so attach the pair the wooden tops oh I remember the wooden tops oh they were fab the wooden tops oh crikey do I feel old so I'm now going to add the pair to there and what I'm going to do is I've got one of these little frames here that I'm going to use. 
and I'm just going to colour the frame with a little bit of alcohol ink just to darken it down before I lighten it with some colour. I'm just going to use ginger alcohol ink. Spotty dog. Oh yes, spotty dog. Oh, I used to love the programmes. I really did love the programmes. So as you can see, we've now got this little frame. I adore these little frames. They're nice and thin. They're not too bulky. It's not too bulky. So I'm just adding some of the alcohol ink to my frame. And then I'm going to take a little bit of wax. A little bit of wax, like so. And I'm just going to add the little bit of wax to my frame. Just so you can see it. Just a little bit. Hopefully you'll be able to see this if I hold it up. You'll be able to see that I'm highlighting the detail on the little frame. Is this anything like Spotted Dick? <laughs> Spotted Dick is a cake. So it might not be. So I'm just adding a little bit of gold to that frame. Look at the state of my fingers. So I'm just adding that gold to the frame. I can't close. I've got stuff everywhere. Which wax do you use, Flower? June, I use, hang on a second, I use Pebio. Pebio, and I use it for all my workshops. So it lasts me forever. It lasts me forever. I use it all the time, the Pebio one, because it doesn't dry out. So I use Pebio Gilding Wax. Pebio gilding wax. So as you can see, that gives it a nice. Let's see if my camera can focus without doing a jittery, jittery thing. You've lost the video. Oh, it's a pudding. Yes, it is. So as you can see, I've got that little frame and it's got nice gold on there. Spotty dick. Olga now wants to know what's the cake. The cake, Olga, is called Spotted Dick. It's like a sponge, like a, a current. It's called Spotted Dick. <laughs> Olga can't believe we've got a pudding that's called Spotted Dick. She cannot believe that, that we've got a pudding in the UK called that. Yes, Olga, I've used your stencil. I'll hold it up so you can see, Olga. Can you see we've used your stencil, Olga? Let me show in the background here. We've used your lovely stencil in the background. It's fab. Spotted dick. She can't believe that. So this is what we've got. We've got all that lovely texture. We've got this. Look at that little frame. I love that little frame. Sound goes funny when I lift it up to the camera. Why does the sound go funny? with loads of custard there you go so I don't know why the sound goes funny when I lift it up to the camera perhaps it thinks I'm getting a bit too close and it doesn't like it spotty dick and custard oh I don't like custard I don't like custard at all I've never liked custard it's a steam pudding yes and you <laughs> yes you do Olga you do eat it you do put it in your mouth and eat it yes Olga <laughs> Your stencil looks fab in the background, Olga. It looks fab in the background. So I'm just using the circle because I, don't, I like to use the little reinforcer as well. I don't like to forget the reinforcer. So we're going to use the reinforcer as well. But look at the little frame for the pair. I love the little frame. I love the little frame. I'm going to have to get some more frames because I'm in love with the little frames. I know that's slightly weird, but I just love them. The little frames are fab. So I'm just adding some gesso to my reinforcer. Oh, thank you, Olga. I'm quite pleased with it. I really like it. It's got lots of layers, lots of texture. So we're just going to, I think we'll add this in green now. We'll add some green to the reinforcer, just a bit more touch of green. So just add the paint to the reinforcer. We can't forget the reinforce a bit because that'll just add a little bit of dimension. 
don't forget the edges I'm getting paint all over my fingers like you do so we're just adding that what's Ian cooking for tea oh that's a good question I don't know what I've got for tea tonight that's a good question it is a little trinket frame Anne from Tim's new release a little trinket frame but I love them because they're not too bulky they're not too bulky and it, it just gives my pair a mixed media feel yes the spots are the dry fruit in it absolutely the dry fruit in the cake so what I'm going to do now is add a little bit of text to the reinforcer so I'm going to use the text from the pair here just to add that to the reinforcer because you shouldn't forget these little details you shouldn't forget the little details so I'm just going to add a little bit of text I've got no room on my desk a little bit of text to the reinforcer and this is what I like about mixed media pieces me too I can't understand those that eat them <laughs> so I'm just adding a little bit of text to the reinforcer there we go that's perfect so you can use your stamp in lots of ways just add that just give it a dry and what we're going to do is we're going to add touches of green I used to ask my dad to buy dead fly biscuits De Gary Baldy dead fly biscuits that is so funny Gary Baldy biscuits with the fruit in did you call them dead fly biscuits <laughs> Wendy called Garibaldi biscuits dead fly biscuits I like I like Garibaldi ones so I'm just adding a touch of the green spring colour just to my what do you call this tag just adding touches of the green to the tag just a little bit more green I was scared by I a Garibaldi when I was little my nan used to make me eat them oh yes I'll have to give Olga a spotted dick somehow that just does not sound right at all when Olga visits I'll have to get her a spotted dick you see when this goes on to YouTube they'll want to know why I'm getting Olga a spotted dick they just they just won't get it at all this is the problem I have with the Facebook with YouTube people will message me and say Tracy why are you talking about spotted dick dead fly biscuits I like I quite I like Gary Baldy I like Gary Baldy so what I'm going to do is add a bit more wax and we're going to add it around the edges of our tag because then everything coordinates everything coordinates beautifully and plus because I'm enjoying myself and I like these little touches can I get one too <laughs> you can hope if you visit the UK I'll buy you a spotted dick absolutely no problem at all no problem at all so I'm just adding these touches of wax which you may not see but I will hold it up so you can see that I'm adding the touches of wax to the edge and now it's picking up the detail on Olga's stencil it's picking up the detail on Olga's stencil beautifully if you can see hopefully you can see some of that metallic element added to the edges just adding some of that metallic element to the edges of my texture if I hold it up I wonder if you can see that now because that looks beautiful here the measurement was eight inches in length by four and a half inches in width well remembered Eugenie well remembered and Wendy but if I hold this just like that at an angle can you see that metallic touch if I hold it at an angle if I just hold it at an angle can you see the metallic touch I have to let my camera catch up on my iPad so I can see what you can see so can you see those touches of metallic it just love it what was that what's the rude toy Hey, I've missed that I need an, I need a clean wipe because my hands are all messy so what I'm going to do is I've added those metallic touches now so obviously we need to add a little bit of a metallic touch to this but we'll stick it down first we'll stick this reinforcer down just so that that gives me some dimension 
to the top and it looks like it's more finished because it's got the reinforcer like so and then and this just shows that the pair has been used on cards it's been used on mixed media pieces and I have to say I'm really pleased with this so I'm just adding little metallic touches to my reinforcer just so that the reinforcer coordinates with everything else just so it looks like I've there we go it looks like I've to, hopefully the size of the tag yes it's four and a half inches in width by eight and a half inches in length and it's a Tim Holtz MDF etc tag and I know James might have some but it's just a lovely substrate to work on so we'll just place that down we've got another little finishing touch that we can do let's just wipe the edge of my wax because it's disgusting it's got stuff all over it just wipe my finger we haven't finished yet so what we need to do is add some touches of water oh I love it when you all try the projects as well I love it when you have a go at the projects so I'm now going to add a few touches of white just to the just to the tag just to lift it a little bit just to lift some of that design just to give it some highlight just to give the that's it just to give it a little bit of highlight these are what I call highlights it just needs a little bit of texture so even though I'm going onto the texture paste I'm still adding a few touches of white and it just lifts everything it just lifts the whole design oh thank you thank you Wendy I, I seriously had got no idea what I was going to do today and then to be honest the, st the stamps inspire me they inspire me to try something and try something a bit different and just to I have to prove to myself that the stamps aren't just made for cards they're made for mixed media projects as well and I, li I like to prove that I like to prove that they're made for mixed media projects so I'm now ooh, I'm chucking wipes all over the floor so I'm now going to add some splatters of white I have to say I'm really pleased with how this has turned out I'm really pleased with it where did you buy it from it's been I've been looking Liz what did you buy Liz some Liz bought something and somebody's looking for it so Liz might be able to help I don't know what Liz has bought but somebody's looking for it what did Liz say now it all comes together exactly Joanna what have, what has Liz what has Liz ordered where's Liz gone I've ordered some of the wax there you go she's ordered some of the wax but if I just hold that up just look at how this skin brings some life but I'm absolutely loving that little framed piece on the pear but the pear it's just it's so textural it's so textural I love it especially combined with the texture from the stencil how did we do for time Eh, hey, I didn't do too bad created a mixed media piece but we just need one little finishing touch one little finishing touch we need some twine for the top we need some twine so let's add some twine to the top some natural twine some beeswax this is uh, Seth Aptis isn't he what is, is Seth Aptis not doing the beeswax anymore I thought, I thought Seth had beeswax as well white lines I've been wanting to watch white lines you see I've missed a bit of conversation now because we're talking about white lines and I've got no idea what white lines are hang on I need to do that again because I was too busy looking at your conversation and not looking at how I'm tying my little bit of thread thank you yeah try that's crafty that's where I got mine from that's crafty I got my vintage beeswax from that's crafty so I'm just going to add this just to give me some twine element just make sure it's tied just going to tie that 
like so. Trim my twine just so it's nicely finished. What do you think? And that's our project done. That's our project. I have got beeswax somewhere and my Ranger melt pot. Exactly. I don't even use a melt pot. Sometimes I just use a tin from a cake. But I'm so pleased with that. I absolutely love this little bit with the frame and how the pear, because I've got that skin embedded in the pear, it's hard to show it embedded. It's so difficult to show it on camera and then I have to wait for my camera to catch up. It doesn't like close-up shots sometimes, but it looks embedded. So I'm hoping you can at least see some of that texture. I absolutely, I'm so pleased with that. And the little clip as well. I love it, absolutely love it. And I think what we can do is we can just add a little index clip. Let's just get a bit of alcohol ink. A bit of alcohol ink and just change the colour of our index clip. You're very welcome, you're very welcome. So I'm just going to add an index clip, but I'm going to colour it with a bit of alcohol ink. I'm just going to colour with a bit of alcohol ink. Just add. There we go, there's my index clip. So I'm going to add an index clip just at the top that I've just coloured with alcohol inks. Just add that to the top. That just finishes it off nicely. Like so. And then I'll just add a little bit of gold wax just to that index clip just to make sure it's finished off like everything else just so it looks like I've thought about the design so just allow that to sit get another wipe where did you where what did you use for doing the skin no I used let me show you you can use anything any embossing powder Gabby but I used Seth Apter vintage beeswax I used Seth, Seth Apter vintage beeswax for my skin but for your skin you could use some of your old embossing powders that you don't like you could use some of them you can use Tim Holtz glazes you can use clear embossing powder anything like that but if you've got embossing powders that you're not enjoying using because you don't like the colors then maybe use that hello Satchu we've just finished just finished our project and I'm really pleased with it really pleased so I hope you enjoyed that and I'm going to be back on Friday because tomorrow I've now got to help my son in searching for jobs. So I'm going to help my son tomorrow. So I'll be back on Friday, Friday at four o'clock. I'll be back. But I've really enjoyed that. I've really enjoyed that project. Really enjoyed it. I've been playing with making skins. Yay, yeah, Anne. They're good fun. They're good fun. I like them. And I love how tactile. You know what I'm going to say, don't you? The project's nice and sturdy. It's nice and sturdy. It feels nice and st sturdy, sturdy. I just come from the city. Oh, have you just bought your summer flowers, Satchu? Enjoy them. Enjoy them, Satchu. I can't, if, you, if you can't get the imprint to work, it means it's not hot enough, Hope. It's not hot enough and you need to press down into your thick, um, ultra thick. Oh, thank you, Liz. Thank you. And I need to think of a project for Friday. Ha <laughs> ha. Yes, frontage powders would work as well. Absolutely. Thank you, Sue. So I hope you all have a lovely evening and I'll see you all on Friday and I'll post this video on YouTube for you. I'll post it on YouTube. Thank you for all the good luck. Thank you. Thanks, Sarah. Got to try a skin soon. Yay. So hopefully I'll see some of you at the weekend for the workshop and I'll see some of you on Friday. So I'll see you all Friday for another Facebook Live and I'll see some of you at the weekend. Thanks for your company. Thank you very much, everybody.